Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you from the shores of Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. And currently, we got the mixed bag out here. It's just the Dow that's up two points, and the trading's up 31. Otherwise, all the other U.S. indices trading to the downside. The SP's off nine, the NASDAQ 101.12. That's about seven tenths of a percent. The Russell's off eight tenths or 17 points. Semi's down six tenths. That's 24 points to the downside. Gold's off six bucks. Silver down 37 cents. Lights we crude trading out at 70.62. That's down 11 pennies. Let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. As we begin, we look at the ES mini. The upper, whoops, that's not the nine panel chart. Here's the nine panel chart. There we go. The upper left hand corner. So yesterday, we had the ES mini. We had the spies. You can go check, uh, check this out on your spy chart. Pull back and test the swing point from the trading session of December 3rd. That swing point had uh as the test was occurring yesterday, it was on much lighter volume. So we have a test rejection of a swing point. Tom phrased it, if you can't bust them to the downside, you should try to bust them to the upside. So that's the message that we have right now. A bust them to the upside, though, isn't exactly like it's a uh, day in paradise because the upside is a swing point from November 22nd. The low of that swing point is 46.66. The top is 47.33. Now, so you've got a rejection inside the SPY, inside the ES Mini, yet you have that spot volatility that's well above its 50-day exponential moving average. So that doesn't uh, mean that we can't see a big flush to the downside that flush to the downside would likely take us to the 4496 level but what we know right now from a sellers and a volume standpoint we've got a key rejection of a key swing point as we speak given at 101 we've got the fed powell coming out at uh, but in about an hour's time you've got the nq pointing back to support that is the bottom of its daily profile Take a look at the U.S. dollar index still consolidating inside its daily profile, but above the center level, that could suggest a move up to the 96.91 level. Gold moving lower, but still takes uh, testing the bottom of its weekly profile. 17.61 is the number. The actual low today, 17.64. Now, silver doing a whole different thing. It is trading below the bottom of its weekly profile. Of course, the weekly profile, this is only Wednesday. So the question is, where does it end the week? 21.82 is the level. To be watching that is the bottom of that weekly profile the swing point is going after september 29th the low there is 2147 the low so far today has been 2147 how about that so you're right back in an area of support folks stay tuned for the trader's ed show we'll review the uh, lights we crude, natural gas and anything that you'd like all you have to do is give us a call at 77 927 have a wonderful wednesday folks